Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is day two of the Bassmaster Elite on St. John's in Palatka. I'm just heading out. I'm in my garage. I'm just about to leave and go uh, do some more interviews. So watch them, have fun, and hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, by the way. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave us a comment and tell us what you think. Because you know, if you guys like these kind of things, we'll get, we'll try to do more of them. So thank you again for everyone, and uh, see you soon. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Whitaker, nice to meet you by the way. Yes, sir. Yes, Con sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank great, you. great start to the year. Yes. What does it take to catch these fish out here right now? Uh, honestly, it takes just a lot of patience. Um, these fish are moving up out of the river, out of their wintering holes. Uh, we've got some warm weather. Um, backing up those those cold cold days, cold nights we had you know, here recently. And those fish are just finally starting to get acclimated to it. The water's warming, the weather's warming, everything's warming up, everything's coming alive. And it's just, they're coming in and they're setting up, getting ready to go on beds. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm surprised we didn't see it like we saw last year, but that cold weather is really what hurt those fish. Um, but uh, they're coming in, everything's warming up, everything's good, so. You're fishing tomorrow, though. Yes. And this warm weather we had today yes. should help tomorrow. Do you stick with what you started with, or are you gonna go looking for big boys, uh, or it, big girls, yeah, excuse it, me? It should, it should help, but I mean, like today, I, today I only had five bites. Okay. Uh, so it's not easy, it's still, it's still tough. So uh, we're gonna keep after it. Like I said, we're gonna do the exact same thing because I have nothing else to do. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna keep that spinning rod in our hands and, and just pluck around and see what happens. It's gonna be a, um, a shorter day tomorrow. So yeah. uh, that's gonna be interesting. So maybe if we can get a couple of those really big ones in the morning, that'd be great. So What's the bait of choice that you're using this week? Uh, it's a biz bait, sassy sticks, pretty much just like a Cinco. Yeah. Uh, you know, just rigging it wacky style, wacky, wacky style and uh, weightless. Weightless. Yes, yeah, just throwing it right up next to the sea walls. And if I don't get bit within five or ten seconds, I'm reeling it up, throwing it the next piece of cover. So. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. JakeWhitaker.com. Uh, I don't have a website. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that kind of thing. Jake what? Whitaker Fishing. Okay. Uh, on most of all those. Awesome. So, Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you. Kyle Welsher, congratulations. Thank you. First 20 pound bag of my Elite Series career. It took me two days. How good does that feel? It feels pretty good. And I've never caught a 10 pounder in my life, just weighed in a 10 one. I know. It's insane. That's the first 10 pounder you've ever had? First 10 pounder ever. I've never even caught one over nine. So what were you doing today different to catch that one? I relocated to an area that I felt, so my, my day started off absolute crap. I couldn't get bites. I was running everything from yesterday how I thought I had found a little magic stretch. It was ate up with boats, people practicing for the next tournament, pleasure boaters running up down. So 12.30, I finally said, I had three from up there, and it, it was tough to get those. I finally said, we got to leave here, run up, and try to do something different. So I came up here, went in one place. I got a couple of small bites in practice. First bite I get today is three and a half pounder. Next nice. bite I get is a 10 pounder. Then I get a six pounder. I lost a six, but I went in there just trying to catch two 12 or 13 inches. I caught a 10 pounder and a three and a half. Can we talk about the bait yet? What bait were you using? If you'll be here tomorrow, I'll tell you. I'll be here tomorrow, but. This won't be posted till after tomorrow. I don't till, hear me okay, don't worry about it then. So, do you go back to where, where you were today, or do you have another area where fish are? I have, I have two places where I think there's a 
decent population of fish, and I don't mean 20, I mean three or four in an area, yeah. and I think I can go back and fish two places tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a short day, so catching a limit tomorrow is going to be very, very important. So I've got two places I really want to soak in and make sure make sure I catch five if I can. Tomorrow will be your first day, top 20, first event, top 20. How great does that feel? Well, the only thing I have to rely on is luck, so I don't get too excited. So <laughs> I'm just happy I got lucky this week, and hopefully I get lucky one more day. Okay, well, it's Kyle Welcher on YouTube. Kyle Welcher YouTube. Yep. Thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. All today was on video. Got, got him all on video. Awesome. awesome. Our boy. Oh my gosh, man. It, you know, it, the, the river was so close to being so good for us. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like tomorrow, I don't even want to go out there because I'll be disgusted, you know? But, you, like, you got to tell me what. what you got that humongous yeah, one, nine thirteen. I thought it was ten two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it, it was a huge fish, and I mean, and it was crazy. Like I would go down the bank, and I, I'd see a two pounder, and I'd want to work it, you know, and catch it. But they were really hard to catch because they were waiting on those females to come. Yeah. But boy, when we rolled up on that big one. It was first cast. Really? What did oh, you yeah. catch it on? Uh, I caught it on a Berkeley windup with a with a one sixteenth uh, peg sinker, and I just slung it right in there, and the line just jumped and took were you, off. Were you seeing cleaner water today than? Yesterday? Uh, it was a little bit cleaner down there. The water kind of came back. You know, we had that real hard wind. It blew it all out. Uh, so that's why I think the weights are going up because a lot of the water came back. A lot of the pads got water in them and stuff. So, so you're yeah. definitely not fishing tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. You're right on the cusp. Yeah, because I don't. I don't know. I think I needed. I needed 13 something. I thought. But you got nine. Oh, I had 13, 14. <laughs> I yeah. Know. Maybe. I don't know. Dude, how great Unless, would it be to go tomorrow? Oh, it fish awesome. tomorrow. The only issue tomorrow is I think we come in at 1.30. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to lay your bike. Running, I'm running like two and a half hours. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm not going to have no time to go anywhere. But we'll change it up. Somehow we make it. We'll go look somewhere else. So, amazing start on FLW. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. that was. We were so happy. One? I was like, I pulled that Fritz side out and just started hammering him. And I'm hammering like, this is what David Fritz, this is why this is all he throws. <laughs> that bite was so addicting. I threw it here in practice. I Did mean, you? It, oh, it's just, it's so, uh, it's so much fun. And it runs so straight and you just crank it down and it comes across everything. Man, when they get it, it just knocks completely slack in the line. It's just, it's incredible. Not a bad start here either. Yeah. And I mean, you go to Lake Harris. I mean, you, you we'll got go to a chick. And then we go to Harris. Oh, you go chick. chick with this. Yes, dude. then. Bass oh my Masters. God! You have this yeah. chick, and then Harris, Harris all in a row, and then three days later go to the Bassmaster Classic. So we be, we be pretty busy. <laughs> it isn't pretty busy. You're really good on all those waters. Yeah, I know. It just you know, even like here, it was just uh, it's like a timing. You know, you have a choice when you know when you come here to fish shell bars, uh, cast the pads, or try to sight fish. Pretty much, you know. And, and uh, for me, I just I just felt like it was so close to being the sight fishing thing that I was trying to get on the front side of it, but just the weather it just it just didn't work. Out, but uh, you know, same thing. Chick, we're going early, so I mean, yeah. But you know, maybe I can. You know, there won't be any sight fishing going on. It just snowed there, so maybe I can you know, put that fritz side in my hand and, and catch them. That or a rattle trap <laughs> yeah, or something. Something, yeah, something. something makes yeah. noise. Something. Yeah. Well, I hope you're fishing tomorrow, because you know this is our boy. As everyone <laughs> knows, this is our boy, Brandon Palinick. How are you? Doing fine. Doing fine. Good day today. It was. It was better than yesterday. We had uh, 15 and change. So, it'll five pounds more than we had yesterday. Fingers crossed it's enough to fish again tomorrow. Um, we'll be close, but I think we'll be able to make it. If you fish tomorrow, what do you do differently? I don't know yet. <laughs> it's, all, it's all gonna depend on <laughs> how, Sorry. how close I am. Okay. Um, so, it, if I'm way back, then I'll probably go gamble, try to do something crazy, go find 30 pounds somewhere. Yeah. Um, if it's somewhat close, um, then I'll most likely probably just fish around the same stuff I did again today, you know, and try to catch 16, 17, maybe catch 20, and at least move up, and who knows? You know, you just Because it's a shortened day tomorrow, too. It's a shortened day, so any anything can happen. Right? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're at that time frame, time of year that you could literally just pull up on the right stretch and flip up 30 pounds in 30 minutes. Uh, but it's not easy to do. There's a lot of water and they're not everywhere. This warmer weather is gonna help fishing tomorrow, don't you think? The, the warmer it gets, the better it's gonna get, Yeah, um, no doubt. But it's 
it depends on the style of fishing you're doing, right? You need to be where those fish are coming to you, not going away. Uh, and I feel like I've got an area that that's happening in. I just don't know if they're big enough to win. Yeah. Uh, and and that, that's where I'll have to make my decision of like, if I'm gonna stay in that area, if I'm gonna run. Does it keep you up at night? Like, what's gonna change to, if you make no. it tonight? It's not gonna keep you up. No. no Go back, I, I've relax. Never have a problem sleeping. <laughs> Enjoy the night. All Just right. do all that. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. What was the lure today? Forgot. Uh, I don't mix everything. Um, Storm Rashi, Square Three. Caught them on a X Zone True Center stick. Caught some on a Muscleback Fat Finesse Worm. What else did I catch? Got so, some on a spinner bay. Really? Yeah, I got I got a hodgepodge of things going on. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Yep, you're welcome. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Paul Mueller, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of a grind today. You know, that one big fish obviously uh, was the key to the day, salvage the day. And, you know, that's, that's how this place is. I had two big bites the first day, had 20 pounds, had one big bite today, had 16. So the, de the deal is to get those filler fish. Uh, if you have two big bites, you'll have to be around that 20 pound range. If you have three big bites, you could be at 25, you know? So that's the goal. I mean, it's just to stay focused, try to generate, figure out how to generate those, you know, those bigger bites. I only had one big bite today. Didn't lose any fish, you know, so I can't complain. I mean, it was just tougher conditions. Um, really not sure what tomorrow's gonna bring. I thought today would have been better. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited to get back out, out there and, and just give it a shot. You know, I mean, that's all you can do. It's a good way to start. Tomorrow's a shortened day. Is that going to change your tactics on where you fish or how you fish? Well, no. I mean, it's uh, probably just kind of fish to the end. Um, you know, I I, just, I didn't push it to the end today. I didn't know how rough it was going to be. Um, you know, had the, the wind done what they said it was going to do as far as the direction, it could have been a rougher ride, could have been a longer. I'm making a long run. So, you know, I, I kind of got back. Um, fished another place that I wanted to fish anyway that didn't really turn out it, it's tough to, to fish new water when you only have a half hour um, which is what I had but uh, tomorrow it's just gonna be just go to my primary stuff and uh, hopefully make the right adjustments with techniques to the water level and the conditions you know I think that was the key today you know catching that that big one I pretty much ditched everything I did the first day uh, made that adjustment and then you know punched up that big fish and, and maybe I have to do a little bit of that tomorrow Maybe they'll go back to you know biting the way they were the first day But I have to keep an open mind, you know, I mean there I feel like there's still fish in there There's definitely big fish that are you know wanting to spawn or wanting to move up in position to spawn and uh, You know, hopefully it happens tomorrow. You think they're gonna go closer to the, you think that with this warmer weather we had This is a great day a little you bit know, warmer. It's going to be warmer tonight. You the, think they could go a little bit closer? Well, here's closer the thing. To... The water did warm up, so that's a plus. Okay. Um, if the water level comes up more than it did today, it should be better. I mean, I can't see why it wasn't. I think the thing that, that killed my area today was the water just never came up like I thought it was going to because those fish move with that water. So I caught the majority of my fish on the outside, you know, the outside of cover, and that showed me that those fish weren't really moving up into it because the I, kinda, I think with tidal, you know, I'm not an expert in tidal stuff, but it, it made sense even on day one that they would move up a little bit as the water uh, rose. So it's just, you know, you try to get these little clues and uh, build off of it. And, and you know, tomorrow's gonna be another day, you know, I have to fish maybe everything and then once I get those you know one or two bites and and see how the fish are positioned then I'll make the adjustment as far as thank you as far as uh, you know what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna approach it because there's a lot of water to fish there and I certainly didn't fish all of it I don't know how much of it's productive but, you know that area that I fished um, I only got a couple fish there in practice and I didn't spend much time there at all and it was just kind of like a last effort to you know make something happen in this tournament just try to get good points you know, maybe get a, a limit each day. You know, that's that's where I was looking at, and it just Russell. turned out to be that there was a bunch of fish in that place. That um, and I still think there is. So we'll see what happens. Well, good luck tomorrow. Congratulations on a great start for the new season. Thank you, man. I'm I'm excited. You know, this is definitely more than I asked for. Uh, you know, this this is an event. You know, when I look at the schedule, that it, it concerned me because Florida has been tough to me. You know, it, <laughs> it, we don't have anything that fishes like this uh, back home in Connecticut. So it's uh, I feel like a fish out of water when I come down here. But uh, I'm learning. So so, you know, another day to, to give it a, a shot. And, you know, it's, it's fun fishing out here, you know. It's just you got to make those adjustments, and, and hopefully I'd, I do that tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you, man. Thank you. Steve Kennedy, let me first say 
thank you to all of us fantasy fishing people who have you on our team already. You are a steal at where you are today. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> I'm working at it this year, so. Uh, <laughs> Tell me how the day went. I uh, my I went an hour this morning without a bite. The uh, the live guys asked for an update. I turned around to talk to the camera this morning, and uh, five and a half six pounder blew up on my swim jig oh. and took my tails. I missed it, and uh, and then I went another couple hundred yards, and I caught one about four. And, thinking it was going to get okay, and then <laughs> nah, just I, I caught two more two-pound keepers the rest of the day, so. Uh, still going to make the cut? Yeah, yeah, we're still going to make the cut. I'll be less than, I think I'll be less than 10 pounds out, so. Uh, Which isn't. Right, I mean, in this place, it's, this. it's doable. There's one bite. Yeah. Yes, but, uh, yeah, what clung come in with 30-something and from 10th place to win last time. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not out of it, but, uh, but I'm, anyway, I had seven or eight bites today and caught three, and I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not happy, I don't know what to change, I don't know, I do know that I can't catch one on an incoming tide where I am, so, uh, so yeah, once the tide turns, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play somewhere, I don't do, know. Do you, cause tomorrow, there. Tomorrow's a shortened day. Is it going to change the way you fish? Uh, we're going out earlier, so I'm hoping it's going to help me. I mean, oh. Because, I mean, I'm catching them in the first hour or two, and then, then, it, and gets then, then it gets painful tough. So, yeah. You know, some clouds, anything can, to really get these fish fired up and eating. If they'll start eating, I mean, we got them. Yeah, it, this is an awesome fish. Them, right. They're yeah. here. They're just, like I said, after the first hour or two, they're. Uh, they're done for the day. Cause, really? Because the tide never gets back to high now. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, they're, they'll bite on a low outgoing or a, or high tide, they'll move cl close to the bank. And uh, I can get a few bites doing that. But uh, incoming, I cannot, I can't get a bite where I'm at. So. Well, well, what do you. I, I've done it two days in a row, gone five hours without one. So. Oh. That's, isn't that the <laughs> toughest thing to do? That's, yes. But, Anyway, they're there. There's there, there's some big ones there on the right right setup. So I just I gotta milk it. I gotta milk it fast in the morning. So what is the bait of choice that you're using this week? I'm I'm swimming a big jig. I'm swimming a half ounce jig with a with a big big trailer. And, uh, and yeah, the bigger fish are actually hitting it on top. Just really? Smoking. <laughs> I have not had a big bite flipping it, letting it go down yet. So, uh, but you have one more day. Uh, we're going after it. So. It's going to be awesome. Congratulations. Great way to start off 2020. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I haven't made a classic two years in a row. So, uh, I'm working at it. I've been coming to pre-fishing. I pre-fished up in Chickamauga, which I'm not sure that's going to pay off the way that one looks. But, uh, but yes, I'm working at it this year. And, uh, Expect to do well. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for the points. And good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, dude. Patrick Walters, good. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, it's day two here at the Bassmaster Elite Series. It should technically be day four. <laughs> yes. But it is day two. So uh, we had a good bag today. So, so far, so good. Tomorrow you have a shortened day. Is that going to change the way that you fish? Because you did bring in the biggest bag of the tournament so far. It is definitely going to change the way I fish. You know, because I'm actually I'm making a two-hour run one way. It, today I did. Yesterday I fished close. So it definitely has been kind of concerned because we're checking in at 145. Um, so I'm going to weigh out the odds if it's a good idea to fish close and just scratch out some fish tomorrow, or if it's go for the jugular and try to make that long run and only have two hours to fish. Did you find them going towards short, or were they betting? Oh, they were, were they? All shallow water, I think, pre-spawn. Kind of, they were in the spawning area, but they weren't spawning. Um, less than a foot of water. I mean, it was shallow. If it gets really warm tomorrow, could it be it on could, fire? It could get good. We had the full moon today, and I think that's what really brought these fish up. I think they're ready. You know, it's like uh, they're staying in at the fridge. Like, the fridge has been locked, and they just took a lock off. I mean, these fish are ready. The cold front slowed them down, but I think tomorrow, it's if it stays 80 degrees, it could get good. What was the bait of choice today? Um, I caught the big one on a watermelon zoom fluke, and I caught the other four flipping a um, zoom speed crawl watermelon. Changed up. I've been flushing black and blue June bug all week, and today with how sunny it was, I went all watermelon. Nice. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Absolutely. And Yamaha boy, by the way, too. Yes, sir. Jay, congratulations. I appreciate it. So tell me how the day went for you today. 
Well, it's pretty much like yesterday. I had done about 10 bites yesterday. I think I caught eight of them, and today I had 10 bites and caught five. I, I lost a couple fish. Um, it's pretty much a grind where I'm at. You know, I'm not getting a lot of bites, but it's the right bites when I do, which is what you want to win a tournament. You want the right ones. You're not looking for 20 or 30. You want five big ones. So uh, I think I'm doing the right thing in the right area. Uh, I just need to uh, make sure I get them in the boat and uh, see what happens. Tomorrow's a short day. How different is that going to change your uh, your strategy of fishing? Not really at all. Yesterday I had them early. Today I had them kind of, you know, the bigger ones kind of early, and I lost some bigger ones before the time that I would have to come back today. Yeah. So uh, and then plus we're starting early. The, the first morning I was in the first flight, uh, I got there, you know, earlier than I did this morning, of course, and and I caught a four pounder or four and a half on the fifth cast, and then it wasn't 30 minutes later I caught a nine. So. I'm anxious to get there even earlier in the morning because yeah. I didn't even get that early there in practice. So I'm anxious to get there early in the morning and, and see what happens. What's the bait of choice this week? That's a jerk bait. Jerk bait? Yeah, it's a, uh, just a white jerk bait that uh, the water's in there stained up, so I've been throwing a white, white jerk bait. With the warmer weather coming in, do you think they're going to push a little bit more towards shore? Or are you going to find spawners? What do you think? I don't think they, not where I'm at, just for the simple fact there's no mud, there's no water on the shore. Okay. I mean, if they get on the reed line, they're going to be in about six inches of water. They might, you know, two or three feet off the bank, they might start setting up, but uh, I'm not looking for them to. I mean, it's still, I think it's going to be a little cooler tonight, too. It needs to be a two or three days of, you know, warmer nights. Not so much days, but if the nights keep getting down to 40 degrees, then it's not really helping in the day that much. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Kelly J. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Hey guys, this is Michael Hall. Please like and subscribe to Fish Florida Radio. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.